triple A. Credits are right. Hang up the phone and let your heart break on the. Oh, yeah, and I want you guys to be able to see the view from my hotel room because it's pretty, pretty awesome. In LA, 24 twice. She's on the phone, but she's staying on. Good morning from here in New York. It is Sunday and the Pride March is kicked off. AHF's float, which I'm going to be on, doesn't actually start in the march until 5, 6 p.m. So, and it's just barely noon now and the march is starting. So this is going to be a long, long march. Uh, some people have told me it's, it's like 10 hours long. I never heard of anything like that in LA. It was like four or five hours long and I thought that was so long, but this is, this is crazy and there's millions expected to be here. Yeah, I'm just gonna eat something, see if I can get some cool footage and see what's going on out there. And then um, later I'll come back here and get ready to be on the boats. Hi. All right. And can I get a medium iced tea as well? Thank you. No, that's okay. So as you can see, all these like normal residential streets have just tons of floats sitting here waiting until their uh, step off time. And it's just street after street after street after street like that. Actually, I'll post the map right now so you can see it. Just all the streets that have floats lined up, all waiting to go to be part of this uh, march. So it's nothing like I've ever seen or like I thought I would see coming here. Blows me away. Got a little ham and cheese going and some sea salt chips.
I just got back to my hotel room. What an incredible, crazy experience that was. It was so fun and there were so many people and there was so much love and support. And I can't even put into words how incredible it was to be a part of New York City World Pride and 50th anniversary of Stonewall. Now it's time to celebrate. I'm gonna go out and have some drinks. Yes! Woo!